According to a report by the Office for National Statistics, the Cornish are in the top five when it comes to issues of happiness, life satisfaction and self-worth. So where did it all go wrong for Martin Clunes, belligerent character Doc Martin? After 11 years and six series, the medic with the worst bedside manner in the country remains as miserable as ever. Yeah, that's a good cut down, isn't it? <laughs> it's quite liberating playing him and being like it's that because great. it's so... it makes me rather smugly smirking away. Yeah, because it's just <laughs> I think it's delightful to be so rude. Because <laughs> I wouldn't do to the that. elderly, to children, particularly, I mean, particularly the elderly and the children. Yeah. <laughs> Physically rough with them as well. <laughs> Physically rough. Really rough, especially the kids, they love it. <laughs> <laughs> so he's actually been under uh, considerable stress in Series 6, which is, by the way, uh, out on uh, DVD. There um, it is. There it is. There That's it is. What it looks like that. One of the funniest shows. Uh, most entertaining shows on television, says the Sunday Express. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Tim. Um, so, so he has he has been under a lot of pressure. Terrible. Serious pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got very bad. Because usually in a season we start with them in a bad place and then put them together again, but we've done that a few times. Is that a ringtone or a dog? I, I think, think it might a be a dog, Alan, something. So get that dog. Um, <laughs> uh, but this series, we sort of rang the changes by putting... Because people were so desperate for them to get married. They yes. write to us and speak to us in the street and say, get married. So we got them married and then took them apart. Yes. So guess what we're going to do next series? Put them back together. Oh, I right? hope so. Well, we're going to try. A couple Bec counselling. Oh, good. Because, I mean, it sort of ended on a real cliffhanger. I mean, to, to, to begin with, it was the, the whole brain hemorrhage mm. thing, and that sort of took us all by surprise right at the end there. Mm. And, and then the operation. In fact, we've got a clip of this, have we? Let's just have a look. Let's have a look. So it does appear that they... I mean, he clearly wants to try and make this marriage work. He's head over heels in love with her. He's mm. absolutely besotted with her, but just sort of can't, can't function in that way. And one of the other things that's happened as well, the, the, the blood phobia's come back. Yes, Because he was originally a vascular surgeon, wasn't he? That's it, yes. And, uh, and the yeah. fear of blood, which prevents you from doing a job like that. I, yes, it does, yes. It's quite important thing not to be frightened flesh, of. Yes. And so that's come back in this. But, mm. but um, it, it, how, how, how will he function in, in that way? How can you function as a doctor if you've, if you've in got a blood phobia? In that particular procedure, um, he ran off and was sick in the bin in the middle. <laughs> but he's got to deal with that, because that was all, all, you know, and his mother comes, his father dies. It was, all, it was quite mm. tough, mm. quite right, a tough yeah. season for him. But it's nice to see him. And you suffering. do it year on, year off, don't you? Yes. Yes, is we this, do. Is this for you? Because your wife is a producer, so... Yes, well, we sort of figured close. if we disappeared every summer holidays, Emily would would never see us, and she's sort of grown up. She's 14 now, and she's mm. kind of grown up while we've been, been, we've been filming this. Yeah. So uh, it seemed a bit mean. Plus, it does give us a bit of breathing space. It, gov it gives um, Port Isaac, the, where we shoot it, a bit of a, a rest from us. Are they sick of the sight of you down there now? Um, so we, I think we have a mixed, a mixed bag. I mean, we're quite good for people with businesses there. I think. That's what yeah, I was going to say, yeah. because isn't there a sort of Doc Martin tour that goes on? I heard that the other day, yes. I don't know who's organised that. Oh, you should go on that. <laughs> <laughs> I might, I might, I might you learn might something. quite like it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you are saying that you've being away from home is a bit of a nightmare, but, I mean, you have spent... This has been a three-year um, adventure for you it, with, oh, with, with the Moogie, line yes, which we, did, we were yes, discussing yes. at the beginning, with Moogie the yes, Lion. Yes, yes. So, um... We know that you were, as a child, inspired. You loved the movie Born Free. Yes. And there is a real connection here, isn't there? Yes, there is, yes. a huge connection. And it was a real um, treat for me. We wanted to make a film about a guy who worked and lived with George Adamson yeah. uh, rehabbing lions. And I don't know if you've ever seen that famous YouTube clip of Christian the Lion. Oh, yes, yes. It's where he recognises the, the, the man guys that's who used to him. Well, they, yeah. yeah, they bought him as, in the 70s. Uh, two guys from Antique Dealers bought him um, from Harrods as a cub. Mm. And then he grew and he grew and he grew and, and they panicked and they called Bill Travis, who played George Adamson in the film of Born Free. Um, and Bill got in touch with George, the real George Adamson, and he said, OK, let's, let's give it a go. And they rehabbed him. And he was the like fifth generation born in captivity, this lion. Oh. Um, and, and Bill made this lovely film called Christian the Lion, of which that's a, a clip. Oh. Um, and they went back a year later and he came pounding down yeah, that rock. Yeah, which is um, incredible. Yeah, yeah it's, I've got it. It's an incredible And um, then George was murdered about 25 years ago and the whole camp was, was, you know, burnt to the ground. And Tony has painstakingly rebuilt it stick for stick in this magical place. This is Tony like Fitzgerald, the yes, conservationist. Yes, in, in a cathedral like place. You fly for hours across the canopy of the, of the bush and then, you, oh, there it is, yeah, you see the, these rocks 
that are all and around that's it. The and that's the new one That's the new one, That's yes. one every book. Well, because what I didn't realise was that you sort of... Uh, elephants get more attention than lions do, if you like. That yes, there was... I didn't until we started doing It's because we are, you know, and, um, you know thanks to the... Um, uh, uh, Prince William, we're all, you know, we're all hearing about the statistics with rhino and elephant, and mm. they've come to the forum for some reason. The numbers of lion populations haven't, and they're really dwindling. And, yes. you know, the human population of Kenya has increased God knows how much in the last 25 years. So that, that, that makes setting them free tricky mm. um, as well. So there's all, it's changed it's so much. Is it 30,000 yes. on the whole continent yes. of Africa? It's nothing. I is know, it, it is really it. nothing, yeah. And there's all sorts of grizzly. There's more tigers in California than India. You know, it's all wrong. Um, but you know, there are these people valiantly working to uh, address all these issues, yeah. and um, um, we're just sort of highlighting the fact that uh, um, you know the, the story's moved on and it's yeah. different. But well, it's lovely for you to be so closely involved with something, not know, just flown out as a presenter to do lovely. something, but no, you, really you know lovely. the people, you know really the animal, lovely. you know the place. And Virginia, who I've known for years, came. She came out and filmed with us in Cora, where. Uh, no, not in Cora, in um, Meru, where where Elsa, you know, I went yes. to the bit where Elsa came, brought her cubs back oh, over the river, and as a kid, looking at these black and white pictures in my, in my book, and then I've been and seen these places. Well, The Lion Called Moogie is uh, ITV on April the 4th, so not to be missed, and also the Doc Martin Complete Series 6 is out on DVD. It's lovely to see you. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.